Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca and today I'm going to share with you what we picked up from Sam's for our March monthly grocery haul. So I go to Sam's every single month. I have a playlist here on my channel to show you everything that we usually get and I do typically get a lot of the same stuff but this time I just did not have what I was looking for. I got mostly what I needed but do you love that? Like actually this month like I had a list. I'm like I'm sticking to my budget. I'm going in. These are things I'm going to get. They didn't even have some of the stuff. But we'll make do and I will share with you what we picked up. I have a family of three and we spend around $400 for our monthly grocery budget. Which by the way I will share with you what I also picked up from um, Whole Foods and Jungle Gyms. Which are other places that we would go to once a month or really bi-monthly. So this month we did go a little over our budget. Which is totally fine and we'll just like make up for it throughout the month and stuff at the um like Kroger that we go to on a weekly basis so stick around and i'll share with you what i picked up from sam's so i'm going to start over here as i always do with our so healthy items here i'm just kidding i'm going to start over here with our boxed goods so last month i really didn't need much but we actually went through everything except four little bags of pretzels um from all of our like snacks and stuff so we had to re-up this month so we got Taylor some goldfish this time. And then for Chris and I, we got these cheese at Snap that are like extra cheesy and then sour cream and onion. They're really great because they're just like an easy, quick snack, you know, 100 calorie bags. And it's just when you really need that crunch, but you don't want to overdo it on like a bag of chips, you know, because we do love our chips around here. Um, but it's just a really quick, easy, low-cal snack to have. And then um, one of the things that they did not have were the diced peaches that I normally get. But these are actually not so bad. These are all um, just the fruit and water. And then it was like natural flavoring, which I mean, it's like, come on. We can't, you know, unless we're chopping up the fruit ourselves, we're going to have something. But I just don't like stuff that has like the added sugar or juice or any other extra like dyes and stuff like that. Um, for the most part, because, you know, we're human and we uh, don't eat perfectly all the time, you know. Um, but, oops, flipped around. So we already got into this. Chris did. Um, I might have one myself, but these are our favorite little like ice cream bars. They're actually dairy free, so it does not upset my stomach at all. And they taste just like a Snickers bar, except they have more protein and fiber and they're half the sugar. Same calories, but half the sugar, like eight times the fiber, or I think, no, seven times the fiber because there's seven grams of fiber and uh, four grams of protein and only eight grams of sugar so it's a really great snack we tried the dark chocolate ones uh the dark chocolate almond ones those were at kroger and tell me what you think have you tried first off have you tried these and then tell me what you think about that and tell me if you tried the almonds then tell me which one is your favorite comment right now and let me know which one is your favorite and i'll tell you mine this is my favorite like i'm not even a huge peanut person i love almonds like dark chocolate almonds i love almonds like in like almond like in almond butter and stuff you know like i'd rather have almond butter than peanut butter but this is just so good with the peanuts like i just never going to go get the um, almond ones again these are just the best and they're like 12 bucks at um, sam's so we love those for a little treat we also picked up the cauliflower crust pizzas and this is just like a plain cheese pizza and we will add bacon and pineapples and banana peppers to it or we'll just do like a plain pepperoni one which reminds me that i did not check for bacon so i did not get bacon this month um they didn't have it last month so i forgot to even check for it this month but we like to um get this it's just like an easy quick you know dinner on like a friday night or something watch a movie put that in the oven and it's just a little bit lower calories than your traditional pizza. Um, then we picked up applesauce. Taylor likes just like the plain applesauce. And honestly, Chris will take this to work too. He has like no shame. And he doesn't care what the guys at work say. He will suck on his applesauce. Because um, that's what he does. Anywho, next thing up are our protein bars. We only got one box this time because we end up eating like more meat sticks than protein bars. And Taylor can't take nuts to school, although she's only going to school two days a week. Um, so she's not taking this with her to school like she would normally do. But I like to get um, any type of snacks or foods that I'm actually going to have as like part of a meal, if you will, or could be like a meal replacement. I want them to have as much fiber protein as possible and the least amount of sugar so these are that like at sam's they have 
10 grams of protein. I can't remember what the fiber and sugar content are, but just check the labels of everything and just look for things that have high enough, higher amounts of fiber. Like at least, you know, at the very least one gram of fiber. But, you know, if you can get like two, three, five or more grams of fiber, that would be great. Um, and then 10 grams of protein is pretty decent for a protein bar. And then sugar, you want that to be like around like under eight grams, you know, um, or around there. And then um, we picked up the Rice Krispie Treats. They have not had these in months, actually. I don't think we've got this since like maybe November, but this is again is just something that she can put um, or have like for lunch or after lunch with her um, just as a snack, you know, like an actual treat, I mean, and um, those are really good. I like the individually wrapped things. We actually like making uh, Rice Krispie Treats. They're super easy, um, but you know what? We have this on hand for uh, those times when we're not making them. And then we also picked up a box of the Chocolate Velveetas. Taylor loves these. These are just a great little snack too. And they actually have fiber and protein in them as well and not too bad with the sugar. Not really a meal replacement, but at least it has something, you know? So that's good. And then these are new to me. Have you tried these little chickpeas? They are just a sea salt uh, flavor. I would really like to have like some other flavor because I just like a lot of flavor. I'm not really into just like, you know, salty things. But I thought I'd give them a try. There's six grams of protein. And it could be just like a nice crunchy snack. And even like a salad topping is what I was thinking too would be really good. Um, like a Greek chicken salad or something would be nice. And then we picked up two packages of the canned tuna. And I just like putting this, you know, with mustard and sweet relish and then serving it with some beet chips as like my tuna salad snack. Or we just throw this on salads for lunch for a quick salad or quick, yeah, quick salad for lunch. And um, Taylor likes to have uh, tuna salad as well. Chris really likes these crackers here, so we just got a big old box of the variety pack of crackers. And then we picked up some turkey sausage. We got two box of, boxes of this. We ran out about midway through the month. Um, and we gave Taylor like ham for breakfast and um, bacon and stuff that we did end up having. So, but we're gonna get back to eating our turkey sausage. Um, and then, which by the way, if you have not tried these, you totally should. And let me know if you've had these versus the butterball. Because if you've had the butterball and you're like, I don't like it because it tastes like sausage. I don't like turkey sausage. You have to try this because Jimmy Dean is doing something right because it actually tastes like pork sausage, but like way less than calories um, because it's made with turkey. But it doesn't taste like turkey. Um, next thing we got are carrots, and again, like. They didn't have like some of the stuff that we really needed and this is one of the things it's like they didn't have like the organic apples or berries and they don't have the berries that often but they didn't have um well, that was the other thing they can't oh they didn't have broccoli they didn't have green beans like they haven't had green beans in months but now they're out of broccoli and i already have tons of cauliflower rice because i didn't eat it all last month as i was planning so um i just picked up carrots it's like the only vegetable that we picked up today um, but we actually love these carrots they're so like teeny tiny I don't know they're just like easy to eat um and then we picked up some vital farms eggs I usually do just get the cage free eggs at Sam's but we've been loving the Kroger um I guess the simple truth variety of pasture raised eggs and they're so good and since we were there today I'm like let's just go ahead and get these their pricing um is pretty similar except right now at Kroger it's like two for seven or it was actually I don't think it is anymore but the pasture raised eggs are like two for seven which would be basically like free eggs free like oh my gosh six free eggs i can't talk um so anyway we got those and that's good and then picked up four packs of the turkey sticks because we really love these a lot all of us eat these this like goes to uh, with chris to work with taylor to school um i'll snack on them too and one of them's already been busted open because um taylor had one after gymnastics we actually ran to sam's and jungle gyms while taylor was in gymnastics and so she comes home from gymnastics, has two meat sticks, a cup of fruit, and pickles. <laughs> get those electrolytes, I guess. But just a little snack before bed because we get home pretty late. Um, and then we have some shrimp. And Chris wanted to try the colossal shrimp this time. So we did that. They did not have mahi-mahi. I wanted to pick some of that up. We already have some tuna left over. We only had one meal last month. So didn't need any of that. And then... Um, the Tyson wings, we've been loving these the last couple of months. It's so just a great snack for Taylor for lunch when she's at home. Um, like, rather than getting, you know, like, chicken nuggets, like, it is twice the price of chicken nuggets. And I just want to give her better stuff, like, 
not just better stuff, but like more nutrition, more nutrients. So they didn't have the applewood smoked bacon, or it wasn't even bacon, it's just applewood smoked chicken wings. So they have buffalo. She will eat hot stuff. Hopefully she will actually enjoy these. Um, they didn't have the other variety, so hopefully they'll get that back. Um, they actually had something called like steak fritters, which was like basically chicken fried steak, which I thought was kind of interesting because it's like Tyson chicken, but you know, they have to do those other things. And then some non-food items. Um, well, bath tissue. We got our toilet paper. Love when they have our toilet paper. This is like the best. I used to be all obsessed about Cottonelle until I tried this. Um, and then we got just some Aquafina water. And this is really what we like to take for walks. And actually, we got a new dog. Let me show you a picture of Desiree. So now we are going to be walking two dogs. And right now, she's only doing like two miles. But eventually, she will get up to the five miles along with Dexter. But this is everything that I picked up from Sam's for the month of March. So while it's out, I'm going to show you what we pick up from Jungle Gyms, which by the way, if you didn't know, Jungle Gyms is an international market. So we like to get coffee from there and we do like to get the organic coffee. Like I do a variety of like organic and non-organic foods, but with coffee, I mean 99.9% .9 of the time I buy organic because coffee is one of the most or actually the most heavily pesticized crops. So it's it's not good and honestly like coffee has health benefits antioxidants and research the benefits of coffee it's actually it's pretty good now if you have a problem digesting caffeine then that's not gonna be good for you but if you're gonna get something totally get organic if you can and these are only like six bucks that's not even that bad that's why we buy them at jungle gyms um and they have these zappos like i was telling you we like chips chris picked up these zappos um different like flavor crawfish flavor we really like the voodoo heat so if we could find them we actually haven't ordered them off amazon before because they're really good and then we just picked up one bag of my beetroot chips which i mentioned i like having these um basically as like my dipper for tuna salad the sweet relish and the beet chips go well, like perfectly together because they are both are sweet and it's just like pairs perfectly and it's like just a quick little snack. I actually had this for dinner. Um, I almost took a picture but like it's so late and I'm just like tired and so I'm like I literally put a, took a can of tuna, put mustard in it, mixed it up and then had some chips on the side because that's just kind of the day we're having. Um, they also now have um, or actually they probably always had our Bill Jack but Kroger has been remodeled and um well honestly i am close to like four different kroger's so but three of them have been remodeled and did not get their freezer section back now either i just they haven't got it reorganized or what um and i haven't talked i asked someone one time and they like didn't know or didn't have it so i haven't really checked back with them to see if they moved it somewhere outside of like the dog section so we found it at jungle gym so we picked up two of the bill jack for dexter um and Desiree will be eating puppy food because she's seven months old for a while, but then she will switch her over to this. Fun fact, I actually used to make my own dog food. Have you ever done that? Um, I used to do like a variety of grains and meat and veggies and stuff, but then for some reason, I, just, I don't know, I guess I started doubting myself if I was giving them proper nutrition. So anyway, tell me if you've ever done that. And then um, the other little thing are heart of palms. These we like to put just really on salads and um, just as a snack, but we have one can down there like in our little food pantry area it's actually our garage and um or for food storage area i'm sorry i'm like so tired um and so i just got one we usually would do like one per week but we didn't really go through that la much last month so we just picked up one and then we got a huge bottle of kombucha uh jungle gems is the only place that we can find the watermelon in this huge bottle chris loves the watermelon i like the gingerade and the ginger berry i think the ginger berry is probably my my favorite the, i like the gingerade and the um synergy no synergy is the brand uh what is it called oh it's like trifecta maybe or something i'll, I'll forget forget what it's called but it's like has like rainbow colors on it um that's super good but that's our teeny tiny jungle gyms haul we honestly usually spend over a hundred dollars at jungle gyms getting a bunch of stuff um and this was like 60 bucks um not bad but really the coffee and the dog food is what it did us in this time okay so while i'm at it i'm going to share with you what we picked up from um whole foods as well just some supplements we really like getting their vitamin c we all take like at least three of these a day it's honestly like kept us well we do this and then shots of thieves and knock on wood we do not get sick and if we ever start to feel any sort of like 
hint of sickness, that's when we will take the thieves or if we know we're going to be like out and about, we do as a preventative measure. Not something I take like every single day all year round, um, but I definitely take it more often since COVID came through. Um, but anyway, we like the ones, these, because they don't have high fructose corn syrup. And, you know, supplements are something that you just have to be careful with and trust the brand. Um, and vitamin C, I just feel like everyone needs. Um, we don't all need 10 million supplements, but we do need the vitamin C. And then I picked up two of the um, Garden of Life. These are the, like, vegan protein powders. I am not 100% dairy-free, but I have been trying, like basically noticing lately that the whey protein is bothering my stomach and so I've just decided to go back to this and luckily for me these were only $31 each and they're normally like 50 something dollars guys like it's expensive but you're gonna pay for it either now or later because if you you know like don't stay healthy throughout life you're going to be on all kinds of medications and apparatuses and have so many doctor's appointments when you're older that you'll have to pay for it then you know even if you have medicaid you're still gonna to have to pay for health care and you're gonna pay for it by not being able to be active and do things you know with your family or not being able to work and we're not even gonna go down that road but anyway picked up the chocolate and the vanilla because i love my mocha protein smoothie almost every day but I picked up some uh, matcha green tea powder from Jungle Gems last month and I still haven't used it because I didn't have the um, frozen mango so I did pick up oh it's in the freezer but I did pick up a bag of frozen mango from Jungle Gems too because I'm gonna make a matcha green tea smoothie yes and I've got the coconut milk I picked up from Kroger and it's going to be delicious. So I will share that recipe probably on Instagram. So totally follow me on Instagram if um, you want to see that recipe and just want to get to know me a little bit more. And then last little thing are the garden is the Garden of Life collagen peptides. Now I have done the Vital Farms. Is it Vital? No, Vital Farms. Oh my gosh. Vital Proteins. But um, for some reason I picked this up from like a Whole Foods order that I had like delivered um, months ago. And they didn't have the other one, or this one was like on sale or something. I don't know. They're really about the same price, but I really, I like this one. Um, I don't know why I like this one, but I just like this one now like better. So I get this one um, now, and I have this with my coffee, which I usually only have one scoop with my coffee, um, like one scoop per day with my coffee. But I have been upping that to two scoops. So basically, in the two cups of coffee that I drink in the morning, one in each scoop or in each cup. Um, just to get like a full serving of the collagen. But anyway, this is my little supplement haul from Whole Foods. Well, thank you for hanging out with me and letting me share with you what I picked up from Sam's this month. Did you find everything you were looking for? Tell me about your experience this month. I feel like each month they are like missing more and more items. Like I get it, like things are going on, but I'm like, come on, you know, like there's certain staple items that I want to get, but Anyway, uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe. I share my monthly grocery haul and then here and there, my weekly grocery hauls, meal prep, and I'm getting ready to share some full days of eating um, and how to stay healthy and maintain weight loss and maybe even get some weight loss as well. So um, anyway, hope you have a great day and I hope you go do something good for yourself because you are number one. I need to take care of you and I'll see you next time. Bye.